Hello, my name is Tabir Upshaw, and I'm going to be speaking to you about plasma and red blood cells and also donating your plasma in red blood cells. Plasma is a liquid part of your blood. It is the clear yellowish liquid portion of the blood that remains after cell and cellular components have been removed. Plasma carries water, salt, and enzymes. The main role of plasma is to take the nutrients, hormones, and proteins to the parts of the body that needs it. Red blood cells are pretty much the key to life. They travel through your body to deliver oxygen and carbon dioxide to the lungs. If red blood cells did not do their job, you would slowly die. That's how important your red blood cells are. And here's just an example of kind of what the red blood cells kind of look like. Um, kind of circular shape, red liquid. And then your plasma, the yellowish liquid portion. Plasma blood cells are the type of white blood cells that are produced in a person's bone marrow. Plasma is the largest single component of the blood and it makes up, up about 55% of the total blood volume. Red blood cells are a small round with dumbbell shape. Red blood cells contain a protein called hemoglobin that carries iron. When the blood passes through the body tissue, hemoglobin releases oxygen to the cells. The average life cycle of red blood cells is 120 days. So your body is continuously making new cells. As you know, plasma and red blood cells are very important components in your body. The products can be used to save lives by donating. When donating, the licensed healthcare provider hooks you up to a machine that separates the vital parts from the plasma. This process can take two hours. When donating red cells, you would donate about a pint of blood. That can take eight to 12 minutes. The products can help save the lives of people suffering from burns, shock, trauma, genetic disorders called hemophilia, and many more. Plasma and red blood cells also help maintain blood pressure, carries electrolytes such as sodium and potassium to our muscles, and help maintain a proper pH in the body. There are different blood types such as OABAB, negative or positive to those blood types. O negative can be given to anybody. Um, AB blood type is very rare, only about 4% according to the Red Cross have that blood type. AB is the ideal blood type for donating plasma. That's why it's very important for those with that blood type to donate plasma. People with O negative are highly recommended for red blood cells, although all blood types are important, but again, O negative is a universal um, blood type. Just one donation can save up to three lives. When donating plasma, you have to be at least 18 years old and 16 years old for red blood cells with the parent's consent. There are some side effects when you donate. You may experience um, lightheadedness, um, nausea and vomiting, paleness and blurry vision, and also bruising from the insertion of the needle. However, this doesn't usually happen. Um, that is why it's very important for you to make sure you eat a good meal before and after and stay hydrated before and after your donation. If you are able to save a life, I recommend that you do so. Recent studies show that there is a need for transfusions every two seconds. And so, again, if you're able to donate, I suggest you do so. Thank you.